Hey guys, it's Derek with the Survivalists. Um, I'm actually going to be touching on doing water right now. Right now, one of the biggest things that you'll see around right now is plenty of snow. <clears throat> snow is actually good for multiple things. Um, one of them is actually getting water. Some people ask, how do you get water from snow? Well, it's simple. Snow is technically frozen water. What you want to do is make sure you have something to collect it with, such as this. That's a canteen, which, you know, this is a steel one, which is very helpful. It'll actually hold quite a bit of water. It's about a, a liter. Um, but what you want to do is make sure you have a wide enough opening at the top, which I'll open. And as you can see, there's a pretty good opening at the top. And what you want to do is be able to actually go find good clean snow, something untouched like right in here, or anywhere you don't see really footprints or anything. Um, make sure it's a white snow. You don't want any dirt or anything else in there. Um, one good thing to do is if you collect snow, um, heat it up. One thing you can do is use your body temperature to help melt it. Uh, another is a heat source, um, which I'll be getting into a little bit later. But you can use a fire to actually help melt the snow and heat it up and actually boil some of the contents out of it. Just to make sure it's sterile and actually clean to drink. Um, but other than that, snow is actually a pretty good thing to use, especially if you know, you're out and about, there's a lot of it. So you won't be in short supply of gathering water. Um, you can actually get it by the gallons if need be, but you don't want to get too much of it either. It could actually make you sick if you drink too much of it, but um, make sure you stay hydrated and make sure you have a container such as this to make sure you have water on hand. Um, until then, click like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a bit.